Darren's sister Shannon, his wife Michelle, and the twins, Miley and Drayson, back in Truckee watching that Darren is on his way, and we'll let you know what we know as soon as we can. Back to the top of the X course. We are clear to go. We are now set for women's semifinal racing. And really the gold standard here, no pun intended, Ophelie David of France. She is looking for the first ever four-peat in any ski event here at Winter X. As well, Alicia Klein, another veteran. There you see David going for that four-peat. Never been done here in one of the more competitive events here at Winter X. Such a crafty skier though, very slight, not real big. And she just finds a way to find the line to get it done. But in this heat, I also want to keep an eye on, in the green bib, Fanice Smith of Switzerland. She was an absolute revelation last week at Lake Placid at the final World Cup. She is 17 years of age, and she is extremely fast. Oh, very talented indeed. I've been watching her ski all week. She's got a great touch. Up against these veterans, though, she's got a tough job ahead. We're taking the top three into the women's skier X final. He saw a slight flinch there, flinch there from Fanny Smith, but out in front of the gold bib, that is Ophelia David of France, the three-time champion. And on the white, here comes Alicia Klein. Fanny Smith following closely in third. She's well in this race. Ophelia Davi, the three-time champion, in the yellow bib out in front. Here comes the white bib of Klein. In the green, the third and final transfer position is Fanny Smith of Switzerland. Smooth through those whips for all the ladies. Nice to see that. Ooh, Alicia Klein getting hung up at the end of the rhythm section here. Look out for Fanny Smith. She might make a pass here. Ophelia oh, Davi, the 33-year-old from France, out in front. Look at Fanny Smith in the green, trying to find a way around Alicia Klein of Canada. There she goes, moving to the left, thinking she may have a shot of pass here. Fanny Smith the Green working the draft. Ophelia David out in front, and Klein has a little bit of problem there. Has to throw out the outrigger. And Fanny Smith of Switzerland makes the pass. Now she has her sight set on Ophelia David. David of France, the three-time champion, out in front here in semifinal number one. Fanny Smith, the 17-year-old, sits in second, and Alicia Klein of Canada sits in third. David with a commanding lead. She's so good, Todd. As they make their way to the final jump, it will be Ophelia David moving on to the final, followed closely by Fanny Smith of Switzerland and Alicia Klein of Canada, who hasn't competed since. 2004 but looks to be in very good form but Ophelia David showing why she is in a position to pull off the first ever four peat in any ski event. Here we go back to the rhythm section where Darren Rawls had his issues. Looks like all of the ladies got through here fairly clean. No real issues I see there and you can see the rookie Funny Smith and here is our fly cam. You see David well out in front of the field but Funny Smith Definitely looking for the pass right there. The, the trouble about this is that you've got to make the timing right. When you get into that slipstream, you've got to have an avenue. But here she got a second chance. Klein going long on the altar. Touch and go. Fanny Smith was very smooth through there, making the pass into second spot. She's going to be a threat here, Todd, into the final. No question about it. The 17-year-old has been extremely fast. And at the finish, look at the form of Debbie. Sets down the landing gear, gets the victory here in semi number one. Top three now into the final. David, Smith, and Klein as we await our second yeah, semifinal to round out the final. Well, tomorrow night is Big Monday, presented by Bud Light. Tune in at 7 Eastern on ESPN to see the number 19 ranked Yukon Huskies take on the Louisville Cardinals. And at 9 Eastern, the number 6 ranked Texas Longhorns battle the Oklahoma State Cowboys. That's Big Monday, presented by Bud Light on ESPN. Day four, Winter X 14, beautiful day, Aspen Snowmass. This is semifinal number two in women's skier cross. We take the top three to round out our final. This is Kelsey Surwa of Canada. The young age of 20, she has got some attitude, Todd. Afraid of nothing. And that is a good quality to have in skier X. Five 
Elsie Sirwa in the gold bib with a great pull coming off a big World Cup victory last week in Lake Placid, New York. Todd, these Canadians are so strong. Look at McIver falling into second place behind Sirwa. In the black bib, Caitlin Ciccone of the USA trying to get herself in there as they come to the hip. Chacon, the lone American in this female field, having trouble in the whip section in the black bib there. That's going to cost her some time. Your leader right now in the gold, Kelsey Sirwa of Canada. Right behind her, fellow countrywoman Ashley McIver in the green. Marta Jefsen of Norway sits in the third and final transfer position. Only three spots available here in Women's Skier X going into the final. Look at the pass by Ashley McIver as they approach the big altar. Always nice to be skiing alongside a teammate, Todd. There's probably a bit of communication going on between the two of them right now. Sirwa goes into the tuck right behind MacGyver, gets a look over his shoulder. Marta Jefsen of Norway coming to third place. So those three are pretty much clear. You've got a fellow countryman in there. Is it time to back it off, Zach? Well, you've, they're safely out in front here, Todd. They just don't want to get in each other's way. You can hear them right there. They're talking to each other. And Sirwa will just tuck in behind Ashley McIver. It will be Ashley McIver and Kelsey Sirwa of Canada going one and two. Marta Yesen of Norway gets the third and final spot in the Women's Skier X final. That was fun. On your right, on your left. Yeah, team. And you talk about the conversation they were having on your left, on your right. Let's go back to the whoop section here. You can see right there, that's our lone American, Caitlin Chacon. She is having troubles coming into this whoop section. It's so critical, the timing. There, she's going a little bit long right there, landing in the hollow. And there's just no chance to recover. Once you miss one, it all stacks up on you. And the speed goes out the window. Here you can see with the fly cam, the two Canadians well in control of this heat, side by side. These Canadians are unbelievably impressive, Todd. Well, Team Canada on both sides, men's and women, extremely deep, and here they are at the altar. Well, the communication was key, Zach. You know you've been on this course before. Here's exactly what it sounded like. I'll tell you what, when I was racing skier cross, I had a teammate and my brother Reggie, but uh, that is a rare quality. You know, these Canadians working very closely together. There you see the two of them coming through in fine form, moving on to the final round. Well, the Canadians showing fine mountain etiquette there. On your left, okay. So Team Canada gets two more into the Women's Ski Rex final. When we come back, we'll have the men's